Welcome back. Well, we are still reeling from what was a really sad night for the city of Las Vegas. A metro officer was shot overnight, and right now there is still a police presence over at UMC where that officer is now being treated. And we have 13 Action News reporter Kelsey McFarland live right now outside of the hospital. And Kelsey, the last thing we were told this morning is that that officer is on life support. Yeah, that is the latest that we heard from Sheriff Lombardo. That was 3.30 this morning, and we've been out here hours now. We have not heard an update on his condition. I want to show you a look at the scene here. You can still see officers outside of UMC. And in the last couple of hours, we have seen Sheriff Lombardo visiting the officers that it, the officer that is fighting for his life inside. The Las Vegas Fraternal Order of Police Foundation also showed up. They bring relief and supply trailers to emergency situations involving police. Now the last time we heard from officers from officers on the condition of the officer fighting for his life inside again was 3:30 this morning. Uh, Lombardo briefed the media saying the officer is in grave condition on life support. The sheriff says officers were trying to move a large crowd of people outside of Circus Circus last night. Some of that crowd throwing rocks and other debris at police officers. A far cry from an otherwise peaceful protest earlier in the night. Sheriff Lombardo uh, directly correlating the protest to the violence that broke out. This is a sad night for LVMPD family and a tragic night for our community. With these protests, which are leading to riots, one tragedy is only leading to another. Now, as officers tried making arrests last night, that's when shots were fired and police say they have identified the shooter and that person is in custody. We're still working to find out who that person is. Of course, this is still a developing situation. We expect to hear from police again in a media briefing sometime today. And as we do hear more details, we'll be sure to keep you updated on air and online at KTNV.com. For now, reporting live, I'm Kelsey McFarland, 13 Action News. We're all desperately hoping that officer can pull through. Kelsey, we appreciate the update. Meanwhile,